This video describes the procedure for generating a offset sectional view from a given part. We consider the support as shown in here for uh, making a multi-view drawing with an offset section. In this part, as you can see, you have a boss, cylindrical boss and a counterpart hole in it, a rib. All of these are in line, whereas the boss that is slightly away from it is not in the same actual line as that of the in first boss. The same goes with the other one. Let's see, look at it from the top view. There's another slot here which is also not in line with the other two features. So for taking a, a multi view for such a object, we consider having a offset sectional view. Let's have a look at that in the drawing sheet. So I have it here in the task pane under view palette. Uh, the path that is already open is listed here. This is the support that we have here. And we would consider the top view as uh, the view from where we would generate the section. So we have the top view here. Slightly increase the scale. This is one is to one. Okay, and then we'll try to remove the tangent edges. Now, going over drawing toolbar, section view, and then under the tab for full section, scroll down to select the cutting line as horizontal line. This is going to represent the frontal planes in the top view. So we drop the first point on the center of the boss and then take a, in the quick toolbar that pops up, take a single offset and drop this somewhere after the end of the rib and before the start of the next feature, which is the boss. So it can be dropped anywhere in this region here and then move down to make another selection, which would be the center of the next feature, which is the boss. Now we get the quick toolbar again and this we take another offset as there is another feature, which is not in the same line. So select single offset try to drop this uh, after the end of the boss and before the start of the next feature here and then make another selection at the center of the last feature that we have here this is from the partial straight slot accept this so no more offsets required in the dialog box that pops up select it as a foreshortened section view so as we don't wish to have uh, these regions which are on the right planes to be um, shown in the in the section view that is generated so we consider only the frontal planes that are being shown in here for taking the section select foreshorten and then if if you have any features standard features that are to be excluded from uh, hatching try to list them here in the dialog box such as uh, the rib in this case so select the area inside the rib such that it is excluded from hatching accept this and simply scroll down to project the offset sectional view there are a few additional lines that we see here from the bend that is taken here between the two planes so try to remove that by clicking on the line here right click and then hide this particular edge do the same for the other bend that we have here try to select this line and then hide it from the section view so this is how a uh, offset section view is generated. You may add other details like center lines by going to annotation, center line for all the cylindrical features that you have in here. Or center marks uh, in this case, so center marks are also missing on some of these features. So you may add that at relevant locations. So this completes uh, the procedure for uh, making an offset sectional view using SOLIDWORKS.